What's up, boys? Call Sign Grimy here, and welcome back to another DCS video, which is probably going to change the game for you. And despite the fact that a small amount of people know about this application, it's crazy the amount of people that I've talked to, that I've shared it with, have no clue it even exists, and it's going to change the game for you in your experience on DCS 100%. So let me put you on and talk about what it is that you need to download today. It's DCS The Way. All right, so we got the aircraft hot, and now let's start talking about what's going on here. So let's say you're in the situation, you get the aircraft, you power it up, and of course you need to input waypoints for the locations that you're gonna be flying or even your target points. So what happens? Well, you click over to your F10 menu, and then from here, you have the fun of going around, and let's say we wanna go over in this area and uh, there's something over there we wanna go either bomb or investigate, recon, whatever the case may be. We'll get the little icon here for mark label. Let's say we drop it right there. Um, and then we're gonna get the lat long coordinates to input it into the aircraft. Now, of course, for the Apache, it uses a very specific format for the uh, lat long inputs for waypoints and target points. So we're gonna switch over by holding the Alt Y and then we'll get the correct format for the lat long that we need to input into the aircraft. You'll see there in the top left corner of the screen, a couple of different things that people are doing right now and they're pretty intensive. One is they will try to write that down on the pen and paper or they'll have a simple text file open up on another screen or alt tab to it and copy over and write those numbers down. And then they'll go back into the cockpit here and then they'll just go ahead and input it. Uh, people will also use Scratchpad, which is another kind of application that overlays on the screen. And it's meant to help simplify that whole process because it can take a while, especially if multiple waypoints or target points to input, it's monotonous. Let's be honest. Now. Let me say that if you are a purist and you want the full simulated experience, then this is not for you because you're gonna to wanna to manually enter it and do all of that and that's great. But for many of us that are limited on time or just wanna get in to have some fun and you know, wanna kind of limit the extra kind of uh, non-combat stuff that's related to the aircraft, then this is gonna be for you. So let me introduce you all to this app called DCS The Way. This small little add-on, which is absolutely free, you can get it off of GitHub, I'll link to it down in the description below, will change the game for you. Let me show, show you how it works here. I'm gonna put it off to the side, all right? And we're gonna go back to the F10 menu. We're gonna hit the Start Selecting on Map. Once we hit this, there is a purple dot, and hopefully you can see this on the screen itself, because it's pretty small. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over and go into that exact same area that we dropped the little mark label point, and let's say there's something there that we wanna go see. We're right over that area. Once we're over that area, we're gonna select the point. Now it says on the little application that one waypoint is selected. All right, that's cool. Let's say there's something else over in this little area right here, in this little clearing. We'll select another one right there. And then let's say finally we want to investigate and recon something that's happening along the river here on the bank. So we'll hit select point three. Now we have three waypoints that are selected on here. What do we do next? We're going to go back into the cockpit. We're going to hit begin transfer to DCS. Now, because we're in the Apache and there's it's a two seat uh, aircraft, it's going to give us a unique pop up. That's when I his, when I hit begin transfer to DCS. It's going to ask me, am I in the pilot seat or no? I'm in the CPG seat. Well, clearly we're in the pilot seat, so I'm going to hit pilot seat. Now get ready and watch the monitors for what's about to happen when I hit this button. It's inputting all of the lat long automatically. My hands are in my lap, waiting for it to be inputted, and this does all of it in a matter of seconds. Completely saved me minute, two minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending on how fast you can input waypoints and all the amount of work it takes to copy over, transfer, write it down, uh, use uh, use one of the other applications that people are using. That was a fraction of the time. And now that those waypoints are entered, we'll go to route and we'll go to waypoint four because that was the first one of the three that we entered because the plane had three original ones in here prior. So waypoint four selected, that is 
our next location that we're going to take off to and travel to. It was that simple. And here we are on the GitHub page for DCS The Way. This is what you're going to be looking for. And as it says right here, it essentially just takes waypoints from the F10 map and enters it into your plane navigation system. Basically like as if you had a data transfer cartridge. And that's what's kind of cool about this. Now, it currently supports some of the most popular aircraft in DCS, which is going to be your F-16, your F-18, your A-10, your Mirage 2000, your Harrier, your Black Shark, and the Apache. And as I said, most people have one or many of those aircraft, which means you can utilize this app right now. And the best thing is, is that this works in multiplayer servers. In almost every multiplayer server that I fly in, this works from Foria to Hoggit to Gray Flag, uh, every one of them. I mean, I haven't ran into a server uh, that doesn't allow this thing to work. And this is a great time saver. If you scroll down a little bit further, this is super easy to install. And if we look down right here, you have the installation instructions, which is very easy to do. You're simply taking a Lua file, placing it into your saved games DCS scripts folder, and you're adding an additional line to the export.lua file. And that's all it takes for this to work with your DCS. Very, very simple. There's even a video tutorial there that'll walk you through it. I'm not going to cover it because it's already been done and I'm not going to do anything different from what that does. So this is the GitHub page. Again, it's linked down below for you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other aircraft here and how it inputs. All right. At least for some of the ones that I have. So we'll jump into the Harrier next. All right. So here in the Harrier, let me demonstrate how this works. Again, it's very simple. We're going to go into the F10 menu and we're going to go ahead and just start selecting on the map. So it's going to activate this application, this program. We're going to get the little purple dot in the center of our screen. And now we're just going to move it around and let's say, OK, we want to stop at Kabaletti for a refuel rearm before we head off to another location, our target location. So we'll select the point on Kabaletti and then let's say just to the east, there's uh, some enemy units we want to take out. And then we're going to have our egress. We're going to come down here and boom, there's our three waypoints for this whole run. All right. Once we mark them, we go back into our aircraft. So you're going to make sure that your uh, MFD here is in the nav mode. And we're going to go ahead and hit simply just begin to transfer. And it's automatically going to start transferring this. Now, it's important to note that when this is inputting, you don't touch anything else. It's going to interrupt the whole system from inputting your date, your uh, uh, lat long. Otherwise, you're going to have busted waypoints and you're going to have to redo it again. And it's going to throw off your waypoint count. So you're going to click on a waypoint and it's not the actual one that you want. So once you hit the begin to transfer, don't mess around with any of other things on your uh, upfront display or your MFDs or anything like that. So it doesn't interrupt the entire process. Once that's done, we look over here and we're going to see our waypoints. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's already three in the aircraft from the beginning of this free flight. However, number four is our first waypoint that goes to the Kobaletti. Five is going to be the target point that we designated. And then six would have been the area, the waypoint towards our egress. And it's in your system that quickly. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this with the F-18. So we're going to go to our F-10 map. We're going to hit start selecting on map again. And we're just going to pick a couple of places, just three more places. There's one, a Kobaletti, we'll go up to this, whatever this is over here, and then we'll end our route at Kutasi. That's three. Now, because we're in a free flight, there's already three pre-programmed waypoints in here. We're going to get rid of the map so we can kind of just see what's going on on the display here. Now, it's super, super important to remember that we are in nav mode and not in SA mode. All right, if you're in SA mode, it's not going to work. So just make sure you're paying attention when you're going to do this go back to your HSI and make sure in this mode. So as we hit the button here to begin the transfer, we're going to get a reminder. This is very important here. And it says, please make sure that one precise option is boxed in HSI data. So we're going to double check here. We're going to go to data and we're going to go to precise, which is right here. That's boxed. We're good. Make sure you're not in tech menu. We're not going to be in tech menu. And then number three, it says here to make sure you are in the correct let long format for entry and we are already i already know this because this is how it is so we're in the correct format up there for our lat long so we're fine now we're going to hit continue and now it is auto entering the waypoints look at that 
All right, then we'll take a look here and you'll see that there's our first waypoint. Our second one's right ahead of us. And then our third one to the east, slightly northeast of us. There it is. Our three waypoints have been entered into the Hornet. Very, very easy. All right, here we are with the A10 to wrap this up and show you how you can do it with the A10. Very, very simple. All right, we're gonna go to our F10 menu. There we are flying around and we're just gonna pick, uh, start selecting our map. Just gonna pick one, two, three. Let's say there's a little barrage of enemies right there. Cool, we selected them. We're gonna go back to the aircraft. We're gonna go over to our, uh, oops, over here. We're gonna hit waypoint. We're gonna hit begin to transfer. And now we've got our waypoints. They're in and they should be right there in front of us. There they are. That simple. Unlike the other aircraft where it goes through the whole punching in the numbers process, for whatever reason, the A-10, it's just a one-click push, and then they're all in there. You can see that tight grouping, which is why I did that on purpose to demonstrate that. You can see how tight they are. So, waypoints seven, uh, seven, six, seven, eight are in. And it's all really that easy with this little app, DCS The Way. Again, don't forget the link is down below in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, if you found it tremendously useful, then consider like subscribing to the channel. And uh, you can also join the Discord. I'm trying to find more people to fly with, create videos with and all of that. So hit me up. The link is down in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. Call sign Grammy out.